Hello everyone, so today we'll have an interesting comparison of phones and cameras. We have a Mate 20 Pro and we have Poco F3. And you'll have three photos in every sample. One is from Mate's camera, one is from Poco's stock camera and one is from Gcam. So when you see G, that's Gcam, when you see M, that's mate and when you see P that's stock Pocophone camera. Okay, so let's start. First photo, we have harsh conditions uh, directly into the sunlight. Look, uh, as you can see here, mm, all, all pictures are okay, but when you zoom in, you can see that mate handles, uh, handles sunlight somewhat better. So yeah, and the sky was more grayish than bluish on these photos but yeah good usable photos on all, all three scenarios but may may takes it here okay now we'll start with here let's say so here we have ultra wide samples from all three cameras so g cam mate and uh, poco as you can see poco has almost identical results with Gcam and StockCam and Mate has uh, I'd say better details but I like colors more on, on these two phones which one is more realistic color well well neither there will this blue or this gray it's somewhere in between so all three pho phones did okay job but I wouldn't say these are good photos for any kind of usage but yeah that's what you have here now let's go to 1x okay uh, so in 1x I'd say the standard focus camera is worst then Gcam then mate you can also you can see this nice fine detail in shadows here kept on mate also the quality in the background is much better on mate also detail here so yeah ma mate take this one now let's see i believe this was i don't know two or three times zoom okay so here you can see how hardwarely good phones like pocophone have big disadvantages over the I don't know flagships that are a few years older and that's the zoom cam okay there's no comparison here no matter how good cam you get you'll never have good result as with real uh, optical camera look at this so yeah when you're using zoom photos uh, there's no comparison and uh, mate uh, wins every time okay let's go here So again, this is I believe ultra white, yeah, ultra white. Uh, colors more accurate on mate than it was really. It's not this sunny or this nice outside. Details, mm, I don't know. It's kind of the same. Mate preserves better shadows here, details and shadows, but not nothing too spectacular. So yeah, I'd say all three photos are equally equally okay. This is one X. Okay, one X photo. Yeah, during the daylight you get mostly the same result, a little bit different colors, but nothing too special. So yeah, these phones and cameras just yeah makes a bit better in shadow, but but nothing spectacular that you couldn't get with a little shadow boost here. So yeah, um, during the day all cameras are quite quite good, uh, except for zoom camera. Okay, <laughs> let's see zoom camera here yeah it's 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 rubbish on a poco phone whichever technology you use gcam or stock and mate just crashes everything here look at details look at look it lo looks like old painting and this has full details okay now let's go inside here i was kind of surprised to see that uh, mate had worst details on ultra wide camera and Poco had uh, Poco's camera had actually the best quality here. 
let's see maybe maybe on the edges you can see better icons here on gcam the mate totally blue is here so yeah inside uh, mate's uh, camera is not that good and uh, gcam gives a bit better contrast but gcam and stock cam are nearly the same okay now we have photo photos on my wall okay here you can see better details on mate uh, in the middle of the photo and toward the edges i'd say they all look the same mate has a bit more contrast you can see a bit more shadow here i, I was surprised that here uh, gcam didn't show more advantages than it should have but when you look at the wall you can see more details here than let's say on mate so yeah so far no big usage of gcam on poco and that's fine because poco really did polish its uh, camera on f3 during the last uh, year of updates but when you have this uh, scenes like this where it's more contrast you can see how gcam will preserve highlights and shadows okay highlights kind of blown out blown out shadows not so good but yeah gcam here takes the win look at the exposure here on the wall this one is kind of bluish grayish on the edges this one has mono uh, one color and that's it a bit more noisy but i'll always take healthy amount of noise than noise reduction and when you see real benefits of gcam is of course at really low light so let's see this bottle of of uh, whiskey yeah o all phones did okay okay uh, this is uh, a night mode on the cameras and i like how mate uh, exposed the background and how details are not over sharpened uh, poco did great job here but details are a bit m too much too sharp for me but then again when you look this bottom part this looks kind of better but yeah gcam is the clear winner here bit overexposed at the background but details are just, just way better and when you look at the normal uh, low light photography without night mode gcam just crushes everything okay this is too noisy shitty details this is all blurry mess uh, or you can see how kind of light overflows the subject in front of it here is a good separation but this really really is bad but gcam just crushes it here yeah it's a bit overexposed but that's normal but look at the details here look at the text you can't compare this to any of this so yeah that, that's the google's algorithms and they'll hardly ever be beaten in low light scenarios maybe i can do comparison of gcam with p40 or p40 pro that should be interesting interesting things to see but yeah uh, to sum it up during the day I would always go for the mate because of the zoom camera you have a versatile camera on mate and that cannot be beaten with any software gimmicks uh, as for the two cameras gcam and poco cam uh, they are pretty very usable during the day they will give you saturated colors better looking image if you're into that and as it, in a closed environment let's say indoors I'd go for a Poco, okay, Gcam is better inside than uh, Mate is, especially at low light. So yeah, uh, the interesting thing is I compared uh, Mate to Note 11 Pro that has a 108 megapixel camera. And that is a sh way shittier camera than Poco F3. So you get ex more expensive phone with newer camera, has uh, worse results than let's say Poco that is now around the same price with, with uh, much smaller sensor of camera so yeah uh, poco uh, and mate still very capable cameras i also did comparison to 4k video on both of them but honestly it's kind of the same there's no point in showing you they do the same things poco has a bit better colors uh, uh, and huawei has a better be better stabilization but it's kind of in few percent difference not special so yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you have any suggestions for next comparison what should it be or some next review for me to get a phone uh, please let me know